Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you how you can use default values within SAP Query. Here right now we are on transaction code SQ01. And here basically I have selected one SAP Query. And if we, for example, execute this, then here we can see the selection screen. Um, to dive deep, because here I'm using some custom selection criteria, some custom fields. If you would like to get to know more information about this, I will also link a video explaining you the details about custom fields and custom information within SAP Query. But basically here we can see one checkbox, the order type, the creator, the purchase order number and the company code. Uh, going one step back and then to environment and info set here we're using the set test info set going into the change mode here you can see basically within the field group over four um, uh, uh, fields and within extras here you will see what is basically used so the test is one that is currently um, yeah uh, just one test column then we have the selection and in this case yeah, we have our checkbox here appear up we have the order type and we have the creator so keep this in mind that here some additional fields are being used so let's go uh, back and once again into the queries so in our te set test how can you basically use default values within SAP Query? One way, and I think it's the most obvious one, is that if you execute it first, that you define a so-called variant. A variant basically pre-fills information within the selection criteria, and uh, you can reuse them. So here, for example, if we enter, for example, um, different criteria like the creator, like the company code, then within the save button, you can save now your input as a variant. And that's what we're going to do. So here you can define a variant name. So for example, just uh, test that's perfectly fine here you can call it um, test here if you want to you can make some detailed information about variants i have also produced an own video about variants i will also link you if you would like to get to know more information about variants yeah but that's perfectly fine then we can save this and then um, let's go back and then execute this then um, right now here just the company code is just within our session but basically um, the, the information are lost like the creator um, and you have to re-enter your information once again but we have already created a variant and you can within this button get variant you can get it so therefore just type in test and then you have your information back or for example if we erase this data and then go to uh, go to variants and then get you can also get your variant so like test once again so if you would like to use default values i think this is the easiest way you can do within sap query and if we're going back here for example you can also execute directly your sap query via a variant and often or the first time you're executing an sap query this pop-up will open up asking you um, what kind of variant you want to call and um, you want to use and then most time you leave it blank you leave it empty but this time we can directly execute our sap query with the fault values using variants then um, if you let's go once back if you for some cases um, would like to have an additional way how you can use default values that's also possible and therefore you click within the sq01 after selecting your sap query you click to info set query and then this will open up 
and here basically you can on the right side of the screen you can define your default values within this column value why is there already a default value for order type that is what i'm going to show you um, as the third option how you can use default values because there basically i'm already using this method for using default values in this custom field but basically in the value you can just enter your information for example like i did Andreas g or uh, just the company code then hit the enter key um, and then click just on save and then you have to make sure that you select your um, right query you want to save so set underscore test and that's basically all. You can also use different options. You can use multiple selections as you can do in the selection screen, but that's all. So go back and then execute it. And now you can see that these information has been have been used. And really to make sure that we are not using a variant in the background that you really trust me, let's go once again into InfoSet Query, put uh, different values into like, um, I think this is also existing and then save it once again go back execute set test then those values are pre-filled and what is the difference between variant and um, yeah the infoset query um, with the infoset query directly your information will be pre-filled for every SAP user and if you're using variants you have to manually call the variant you can set up the variants user spe spe specific and stuff like that so keep in mind what you want to use so to show you the third option i would like to get rid of these um, default values so let's erase them and let's get rid also of the option so that's perfectly fine so why is there already a default value order type? Um, trust me, if I have not maintained it during the button InfoSet query. To show you this, we have to switch to environments and InfoSets into the transaction code SQ02. To call our InfoSet, set underscore test, go into the change mode and now into extras. Here I have already shown you that I'm using a couple of custom selection fields, custom fields, and therefore it's so simple. If we open up the order type, double click it there, you have within extras the possibility to use the default statement and then your value that you would like to use as the default value. So using this also with the creator, for example, then you can just put default and then your value and not NB in this case, like for example, Andreas G3 to trust me, then take this over, save your changes, then generate it. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Going once again into the SQ01, then execute it. And now here we can see now our default value that we have defined. What you also can do is you can, of course, use parameters to pre-fill values within the selection criteria. Here, for example, we have the order type. And if you're using the F1 help in the input field and then you open up the technical information, and then you will see here the parameter ID, in this case, BSA. If you, for example, do exactly the same for the company code, then you have also a parameter ID, B-U-K. So that's also a way how you can pre-fill information within the selection screen. So to do this, you have to open up in, um, in yeah, you have to open up the SU3 
and then you have to go to parameters and here maybe you have already um, set or created or added this parameter then you have just to add your parameter value but if not then down here you have to add them so bsa for the order type for example set it to re and the company code for example buk set up to 1710 hit the enter key and save your changes. And then if you open up once again, there's a pick query and execute this, then we can see basically our order type has not been used because we have already defined a default value within the info set, within the extras. But here we can see that our company code has been pre-filled. Uh, if we're going once again back into the InfoSet query, then here you can also see our default values. So yeah, there are a lot of possibilities how you can use default values within SAP query. So if you have any questions left, please put them in the comment section. Please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.